Dear viewers, in last video we discussed the basic concept of introduction to graph with network X or implementation of the graph in Python. Today we will discuss the types of the graph using the network X in Python. We are having the three main types of the graph. First one is directed graph, second one is multi graph, and third one is weighted graph. In today's video, we will discuss the directed graph. Directed graph is defined as the G. Let me see that we are having the directed graph. We see that we are having the graph that containing the different type of the vertices, nodes, and edge that we discuss as we discussed in the last video. So we vertices can be we are having the different type of the vertices can be there. So we have we may have the vertices are here A B C D E F G G E R and numbers like R two so on. Uh, let me see this V. Any number of vertices can be there 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 20, 100. So there can be the vertices. And then we are having the edge. So edge can be defined as that uh, we are having the vertices link between these vertices. We see that the vertices here A and B. Similarly, A and C. And then we have uh, B and D and so on that these can be the edge over there. So when we see that we are having the vertices are there and as well as edge are there. So and when we say we are having the directed top, so we have the order couple of these edge that represent the link between the different type of the vertices or nodes. As we see that when each element of the edge is in order coupled, like here we say A and B. So link between A and B that started from A and ended with the B. It enforces the direction of the connection. Like A and B, it's that is started from A to ended with the B. Like that is different from B to A. Like here, if I show it to you. Like here we are having one, this one graph is here. In this one direction is mentioned, started from A to B, B to C, C to F. Then F to, we move it over here, B. Right? Here we don't have B to F. Right? Directly we don't have, although if to, to move that one, we are having B to C and then C to F. Or if you want to say F to B, then directly we have. Similarly, this one, order. It enforces the direction of the connection. Now, here we are having the two main concepts in this one graph. One is in degree, and second one is out degree. Direct when we see that we are having the directed graph, we are having the two main concepts. Normal last video we discussed the uh, undirected graph where no direction was mentioned. In degree and out degree so when we see that we are having the n degree n degree that for any nodes or vertices the number of the heads ended adjacent to the node like n degree let me see this here node is here b so at b we see that two different heads are ended so the n degree of the b is if we see that n degree of a, so no node is ended over here, so n degree of a will be 0. If we check n degree of uh, d, so two different nodes will be here f2, c, that's 1, e, 1 in degree. But what about the out degree? Out degree, we say that where the number of the tails ended adjacent to the nodes. So here tails are here. This one is the this one side is the tail and this one side is the head. So we are tail ended, so that is known as the out degree. So 
at A, we are having the out degree is 2, B, out degree is 1. Uh, we say that at S, out degree is 2, C, out degree is 1, and so on. So, that is the basic concept of the directed graph. Directed graph are also known as die graph. Directed graph are also known as Now, how to implement this one directed graph? Let's move to the Python code. Then we have to follow some same practices. Uh, first, we have to import network x as in x. Execute it. Then import panda as pd. Sometimes we need it. Then we have import numpy as np. Now we are having these vertices, uh, these network x, spawn dogs, and then we import this library. Now we see that we are having the uh, different type of the nodes or vertices are here. Those nodes or vertices are here a, b, c, d, e, and f. So when we having the these nodes are there so what we have to do we have to use the vertices that is we see that vertices a b c d e f so how to use that one for the vertices i'm using the wheel and the no vertices are here we see that a b c d E and we have F. These vertices are available. Now, after that one, first we have vertices. Next one, we are having the edge. So, we said we are having the different type of the edge are there. So, edge between what are the different edge that we mentioned over here? A to B, A, B, B, C. So, direction is there where the first one is the A to B, but we, are, we don't have any B to A. If we have, then we have to mention the separately in other edge. So here A to B to C, C to F. So as are here, we are having we see that A to B. This one is the first edge. Second pair of the O. We have B to C. Next one we have. C to F. Then next one we have what is the that you can see it over here A to D, D to E, and E to F. What are the pairs? What are the edge? We say that A, B. Then we have D, E. D and E and then we have yeah other edge if you want to see it over here we may have the other edge are also available F B and F D F B and F We have F B and F D. All of these are the edge that execute it. So edge are there. Now we have to uh, use it over here the graph. Let's see that we are having the graph for G and we are using the directed graph. So, for the directed graph, I already mentioned that we have our graph uh, die graph. So, we have to use the die graph. And 
uh, execute it now. Oh, where we are having the diagram that is available in the network X. So we have to use the index dot diagram. So now if we want to add different type of the nodes over here in this one crop, so how we can add it over here? G dot add node from so from where we can add it over here from the V add node from okay all the node will be added over here so just check it out over here that a node were added or not g dot node and then we have g dot h g dot add edge from so we have to add the edge from the e if you want to check the all the edge so g dot edge if you want to print it over here so you can uh, print it over here print uh, for the node, we say that the word is V. Then we have to use it over at G dot node. And similarly, if you want to use it over here, print H over here, so as equal to. We have the list of edges are available over here. G dot edge. So just execute this one. So it will display the word is in edge over here. Now next step is that we have to find the degree, in degree and out degree. Degree is mean that uh, that can be in degree or out degree. But when we are having the directed drop, in directed drop we are having the two main concept. The one is the in degree and second one is the out degree. So to display the n degree out degree, we are having the n degree. Uh, how do you find the n degree? Let me say that's a print. N degree of the graph. So how we can find it over here? We say that g dot n degree. So it said that n degree of a is 0, c is 1, b is 2, b is 2, e is 1, f is 2. Similarly, uh, if you want to find it over there, the out degree, so we have to use the same print out degree instead of in out degree of the graph, so g dot out degree. This one is considered as a out. So first we found it over here in degree and then we found the out degree. Now here we find already in degree and out degree of the graph. Right. Now next is that we already displayed over here all the nodes in degree and out degree. Now we have to uh, draw the graph. How to draw the graph? So for that one to draw the graph we are having the concept of nx dot draw. And for this one, draw we are having the graph that we already know that we have a graph G. Then uh, we have to mention the label. So for that one, with label. And there we say that, that would be a true. Next, uh, we say that we are having the node size. We have to mention it over here. Node size. Let's say each node size should be here 1000. Then uh, we said it node color. You can use the node color like anyone. Like I'm using the node color red for red, I'm using R and uh, edge color. And that I want to use it every have the like uh, blue okay or 
green okay and uh, in for after that one we have to use uh, the as uh, this one is a directive drop so here we have to mention the we can mention the arrow size if not we are not mentioning it's okay arrow size i am using it over here like uh, 25 right now i will code this one it will display the graph now it create the graph like this one here it started from a to b a to d let me re-execute it now let's see that we have uh, it started from a to b and a to d then uh, b to c c to f and from f to it d and f to b right similarly we are having so uh, a to d d to e e to f so this one is our graph over here right. this one is the directed graph if you want to uh, change this one size instead of 25 if i want to use it over here the 30 so we need it so it will display the error symbol so that we plot it like this one so it started from a to b b to c c to f and then f to b and f to d here we have the e to f uh, b a to d d to e and e to f this one is our graph over here so this one is a complete die graph here we are having the n degree and out degree that here what is the n degree of f so n degree of f is uh, 2 out degree of f that is also a 2 if we check the in degree of a that is a 0 uh, if we check it over here in degree of a that is a 0 why because no head is ended at a so that all about the directed graph in next video we will discuss about the multi graph as well as related graph thanks for watching the video